I'm Toby and this is Sea Life. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Uh, and a lot of you are newcomers and I'm so thankful for all of our new subscribers. And I um, want to give some shout outs today. So later on I'll be doing some shout outs because I'm not sure who I'm going to mention first. But uh, you can be sure that if you subscribe, we're going to shout out for you. I am starting to mince some ginger for our recipe. It's, the recipe I'm featuring today is Mongolian beef. And it's an easy Mongolian beef recipe. So what they said was that I needed some uh, minced ginger. Minced ginger is something I really haven't used very often. Um, I would probably use an essential oil in place of it usually. But today I decided I'd try it and I discovered that I should have watched a vid video called All About Ginger because I think I, I couldn't realize, figure out whether you're supposed to peel it or not so I went ahead and peeled it. So this is how it's going to go. Good job with it. Just peeling some ginger. And let's see how much I got. It's only supposed to be a, a tablespoon, so let's see. Let's see if we manage. Yeah, that's not quite a tablespoon. Oh, just a little more, right? A little more. Here we go. And that's close enough. I, I would imagine that's close enough. So, okay. So, we've got our, our cornstarch and it's, it calls for a fourth cup of canola oil. I'm going to be using olive oil. Uh, two teaspoons fresh ginger. One tablespoon minced garlic. Oh, it's two teaspoons fresh ginger. I've got a tablespoon of fresh ginger. I got Sorry, my garlic and use it anyway. Yeah I, think I, yeah, I think I will. I think I'll go with it anyway. Um, a third cup of light soy sauce. Of course, we will not be using soy sauce. A third, we just omit it. Um, put a little extra salt, maybe. A third cup of water. A half cup of dark brown sugar. And four stalks of scallions, the green parts only, cut into two inch pieces. Okay. Mm, sounds good. Sounds good, doesn't it? What I'm doing here is just trying to cut two inch pieces, which is kind of tricky. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just make them two inch ish pieces. Mm -hmm. And um, I cut up four, um, four scallions. And I just used tops. I'm a cornstarch in my gallon bag, and I'm just going to put a fourth cup of cornstarch in that gallon bag and start adding the beef into it and shaking it around. And That's what the store had, yeah. Yeah, that was what the store had. So I guess I can come over here with this one. And just go ahead and put some of this beef in here. And I just don't want to fill it up too much. 
you fall at a time. And I'm just going to make little batches at a time, probably, too. So, shake and bake. It's kind of like shake and bake, yeah. Because if you've ever had shake and bake. You know, you don't see that so much anymore. Uh -huh. Out of um, one of the channels that I want to give a shout out to is a new channel that I've been watching lately called Mini Acre Farms. She has a beautiful channel and she's doing seed um, exchanges right now. She's doing what's it called? Seed. Can yes, you... exchange. It, we're, it pretty much it's just where um, someone has the particular seed you want and you trade them it's, different seeds. So yeah. you're kind of trading seeds around so that. So yeah, so it's, it's really cool. I really, I, I think that is a beautiful idea. And uh, y'all really need to go over there to Mini Acres Farms and check her out. Uh, she's got a lot, of, a lot going on there. So the basic idea is just to cover the bottom of your skillet pretty, uh, pretty good with oil. I've got a, you know, I've got a, 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 about a, not even a half inch, like a quarter inch. Just covering of yeah, oil. about an eighth inch covering all the way around. Yeah, an eighth inch. That sounds about right. And uh, gonna get hit it, heat it up, get it, you know, uh, sizzling. All right, all right, we got our beef a little bit too small. You really don't want it this small and shredded up. This is just all shredded up. Oh. But I think it'll taste great anyway. So we're just gonna roll with it. Anyway. And we're just going to do these in uh, batches. You want to keep it kind of just one layer to the pan. I'm going to have to do a couple batches. And it's kind of like barbecue. You're just turning it. In the ginger and the garlic into the grease and sauteing saute them. And that's the next step. Just letting them saute. So I let the ginger and the garlic saute for a little while, and then I added the water and the brown sugar. Mm, I've got a little puff over there somehow. Just well, there's probably a little chunks of meat left in that stuff too. Yeah. Um, and it did not say to take the oil out of there, so I thought that was weird, but I went ahead and did it the way it said it, and we'll see. You're on that steak, and when it's when it's done, you want to remove it out of the oil and put it to the side, so you can add your ginger and your garlic and saute them, and then add your water and your uh, uh, your water and your brown your brown sugar, and then your water. Actually, is how I did it, and. Uh, Go ahead and, and it's kind of a, I guess kind of, it's kind of a sauce. It's a sauce that goes on it. And that should, uh, that should reduce. Should be able to boil that water out of it pretty much. It's going to reduce. Let's see. Um, yeah, it says that the cornstarch that you had used on your steak should thicken the sauce. And if you find it isn't thickening enough, add one tablespoon of cornstarch to one tablespoon of cold water and stir to dissolve your cornstarch and then add that to the pan. Um, add your green onions and stir to combine everything and cook for 20 to 30 seconds then serve immediately. Add my meat back in after uh, I'm cutting in the, the onions. to the socks. Let's just see how that turns out. Stir it up a little bit, huh? Yeah, we have to stir it up a little. That's a bit while you're doing it. So it makes a nice thick sauce. And it looks really pretty if you ask me. I don't know. Well, next we gotta make this uh, rice, huh? Now we're gonna make the rice. Mm -hmm. And stir fry. Veggie, veggies to go with it. 
and we will not be eating this immediately, so it's not going to be as good as if we had, I think.